Hi, Scissor here with another video for the Gauntlet, and this is going to be the best builds for the Gauntlet, particularly for getting to level 90. So obviously there are some really, really cool prices in the Gauntlet if you aren't competing, um, just by getting to things like level 90, right? You don't necessarily have to go for rank one of a class to be able to win some really cool things. And the builds that are really good at doing that is very different than what people are going to be trying to win on. I've seen a lot of people saying like, oh, Spectral Shields is going to win the Gauntlet. Whereas I don't see a lot of pro players saying that. Uh, most of the people that really like Spectral Shield Throw is trying to give themselves any other alternative that they feel comfortable playing because they don't necessarily feel like Spectral Shield Throw can win the Gauntlet. Uh, and that's particularly because it has very low damage. It's a really good mapper, so what is the more likely thing is that we'll see people playing, playing Spectral Shield Throw early um, and maybe doing a few bosses like Awakener and easy ones on that, but then respecting to something else later. We're more likely to see the winner being something like a saboteur or um, like with traps or mines. I'm not sure what people have been practicing there, but a lot of people are practicing sabo. Um, and then you have toxic rain uh, and a lot of people are going for detonate dead on a necromancer. I think this is going to be the most varied meta we've ever seen uh, competitive wise for the gauntlet, which I'm very excited about. That being said, let's look at some of the builds that are really, really good at getting level 90. So the first one, honestly, and I would recommend if you just want level 90, this is by far, in my opinion, the best build to do it on. And that is Spectral Shield Throw. I already have a very in-depth guide for this. The only thing I would suggest to change early on is maybe use something like Split Arrow or a Bow build to do mud flats and stuff because you have a lot easier time of off-screening. Once you get to Submerge Passage and you're able to over-level a bit, it's going to be a lot easier to, to switch to like the, uh, the steel skill. Still, I can't remember. There's three. There's only one you can use at this point. Um, but yeah, early on, that will be fine once you have like some resist and stuff. And if you've seen, I have other videos talking about how to specifically do Act 1 and 2 and a generic content tip video. So honestly, Spectral Shield Throw is just such a powerhouse. You're going to have low damage for bosses, but you can very easily get level 90 just in white maps and especially easily in yellow map. Um, so really, really solid choice for this. You're just going to struggle on bosses. Toxic Rain, both on Raider and on Trickster, would probably be pretty great. Trickster might struggle a little bit on damage, but have some more defense. And Raider, just generally really, really good ascendancy. Uh, Raider is probably going to be a, a very big contender for rank 1. Very strong, you end up getting a large amount of damage. You get a large amount of dodge. Um, and you just got to be really, really a lot better on positioning on this build. It's like you really want to avoid slams and things that can one-shot you. Whereas very few things will like hit you repeatedly. So mapping and stuff should be pretty good on this. Um, still not as good as the Spectral Shield Throw for people that just want to get level 90, but a really good choice if you don't want to play SST. Traps and Mines are also a really good choice. This I'm less experienced on. I haven't played a Trapper in a very long time. Um, I would take a look at like things like Exile has been practicing Saboteur, see a little bit what they're doing. Um, Psy TV as well is practicing Saboteur. So whether people are doing traps or mines, etc. Sabo is a really good ascendancy for this. You get the blind aura. You are able to preload your damage. So before a fight starts, like really good for the league mechanic. Um, and there's a lot of advantages to being saboteur. That'll be a really, really good one as well. And another really good build as well. I'm going to be playing the Necromancer Detonate Dead Trinity build. Um, it's really, really good. It feels amazing early. Uh, I, I did slightly different than what I normally did. So I'm actually using Rolling Magma with Volley in the start, just off screen things. It's really, really good until you get like level 10 to 12. Probably in lower prison or something, I switched to like Orb of Storm, Stormblast Mine. And then at level 24, when you get Armor Brand and at 28, when you get Cremation, the build just, or maybe it's 24 for both. But either way, once you have Armor Brand Cremation, really good. Absolutely feels amazing. It's so good for the League mechanic because you're just throwing that in the Armageddon Brand. DD, you don't even necessarily need to switch to the detonate dead part. I will be switching to that because I want extra damage, but staying armor brand cremation should be pretty good for switching uh, or for pushing uh, level 90 because you don't really need a crazy amount of damage. There's no reason why you move out of uh, white maps. And if you want to do it faster, you can, yeah, go to like here six to eight. But again, be really careful. Uh, is a very, very good build because you can get max block. Um, and a life unblock shield and bone offering has max block or sorry um life unblock so very very good choice that's what i'm practicing in the gauntlet and uh, i'm also practicing that to try to like 
get rank 1 uh, Witch. But uh, yeah, really, really good. As far as Templar, you're probably just if you're trying to hit 90, this seems like a bad choice. I don't know what is going to be like rank 1 Templar. Templar just generally seems not great for the gauntlet. It would be cool to see somebody pull it off, but that would be like my least recommended thing. I don't really have any specific build that I would think would be good on that. Marauder as well. They're obviously chieftains are pretty strong. We'll probably see quite a lot of totem builds. Um, just for hitting 90, again, I wouldn't probably recommend Marauder. Um, they are probably going to be pretty okay in the gauntlet and we'll see some strong, cool builds for going for rank one Marauder, but not necessarily the strongest level 90 build. So that's pretty much my thoughts. So honestly, if you uh, if you enjoy playing it, Spectral Shields or Gladiator is super fun. I really enjoy it. Uh, and definitely the best build to hit level 90 in the gauntlet. Probably followed closely by Toxic Raid. So those are my main choices. If you just want to get level 90 and try to win the computer. Um, and good luck in the gauntlet. I hope these helped. Remember, I have two other videos as well. And you just really got to change over your mindset for playing the gauntlet. No longer Path of Exile. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.